In this video, we are going to go over the installation process for Doxel on the most recent macOS High Sierra. I have a clean virtual machine here with High Sierra 10.13.3. And usually the installation process for Doxel on Mac is pretty straightforward and very much painless. However, High Sierra adds a little uh, confusion to the process and we'll go over what you need to know about installing Doxel on High Sierra. So what we'll do, we'll start with uh, our command line one-liner. What it will do now, it is going to download the virtual box installation. I'm going to pause the recording while it does this. Okay, so the virtual box binary is now downloaded and Doxel is going to automatically launch the installation process for us. So once that happens, all we have to do is just click continue, enter the password. And VirtualBox will be installed. Unfortunately, with High Sierra, um, they introduced Apple introduced a kernel extension uh, validation and verification process with VirtualBox. At this moment, is not compatible with. So you can see that we are uh, that the installation failed, and uh, Mac tells us that we have to approve the kernel extension from Oracle America Inc. before um, we can proceed. So let's just do that, open security and preferences. And right here, you'll see the allow button showing up. So just click that, close it, and go back here, we'll click close. Don't move it to trash, let's keep, keep the Installation binary. You can see Doxel in the background continued installing other dependencies. So uh, let's leave it doing that. In the meantime, we're going to manually restart the VirtualBox in installation process once again. Repeat the steps. And this time the installation succeeded, so everything is good. Now we can close, we can keep or move to trash, and close this. So the second step for Doxel installation is to start the virtual machine, and we'll do this with thin VM start. Everything else is pretty much the same as it used to be previously with uh, earlier macOS versions. So this part is now going to work as expected without any surprises. We can see here that Doxel downloaded the boot to Docker image and started provisioning the um, Docker virtual machine using Docker machine. So this will also take some time and I'm going to pause the video again here. Once the virtual machine is up and running, Doxo will install the three system services. So this also takes some time. The first time the VM is being provisioned, uh, Doxel will pull the three Docker images for VHOS proxy, DNS, and SSH agent services. After the images are pulled down and services are started, Doxel needs to configure some network settings as well as NFS exports to provide access for the code base of your projects to the VM.
Okay, it all looks good. Let's just double check that our system services are running and Docker, Docker is functioning. So yeah, we have three system services. It all looks good. We can proceed with a sample project setup to test that everything works properly.